Hello and welcome to yet another interesting opportunity. In this video, we are going to talk about an international scholarship in Germany which covers your full tuition fee, gives you 931 euro monthly, allows you to come with your family to Germany, gives your family monthly stipends, pays your flight ticket, rent subsidy and lots more. This is the Helmut Smith scholarship. I have had a lot of questions about this scholarship so I decided to talk about it exclusively. In this video, we will learn how to apply, the needed documents, the eligible courses, who can apply and many more useful tips. Therefore, skipping is not allowed. Give this video a thumbs up because you are definitely going to get value for your time. Also, do not forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notification and share this video to your friends. Also, comment where you are watching from. Without further delay, let's get started. Okay, let's get into the presentation. So first, let's get to know about this scholarship, Hermon Smith Scholarship. So Hermon Smith Scholarship is a type of DAD scholarship specifically for masters. It is basically geared towards promoting good governance and um, civil society structure. There are no age limit for this scholarship. And this scholarship is only eligible to specific courses and universities which we are going to look at um, during this presentation uh, also you can apply to a maximum of two of the courses you are going to see later and you should know that while applying to two courses you must state the priority so you must have a first choice and a second choice and this has to be in the letter of motivation as well as the third application form you can submit the application to the university only so you do not have to submit any application to DAAD, um, you just submit the application straight to the university. And um, IATS or TOEFL is not mandatory for the scholarship and German language is also not mandatory for the scholarship. However, most schools have different ways of um, certifying their English requirement. So some of the schools would take um, a certificate of English proficiency from your previous um, university stating that your English was your program was done in English some might require you to submit ITS or TOEFL the application period is between 1st of June to 31st of July and since this is a reoccurring scholarship occurs every year so basically between this um, period and then you start the course um, September October the following year in Germany so let's take a look at the benefit of this scholarship. What does it cover? So this is a very um, interesting scholarship. Like I said earlier, it covers um, your full tuition fee. You get 931 euro monthly. Um, you are able to come to Germany with your family and they also get a stipend. Um, you also get rent subsidy. Your health insurance is covered and also you get a travel cost. There are a lot of other benefits for this scholarship. Once you get the scholarship, you get to see a lot of other benefits. So let's take a look at who can apply to this scholarship. So basically you have to come from the list of eligible countries and we are going to take a look at it after this slide. Um, we also have to have a well qualified first degree. They majorly say at least above average and the degree has to be from social, political sciences, law, economics, public policy and administration or related courses. And also you have to be interested in one of the eligible courses and uh, we are go also going to take a look at the eligible courses after this slide. And your degree should not be more than 6 years. This means that whatever date is written on your certificate, it should not be more than 6 years at the time of application. And um, you should also have gained some practical experience um, like professional um, experience maybe you have been involved in internships or you have been involved in political or social commitments or you have worked for related NGOs or you have volunteered for something um, relating to political or social commitments. So this is very important for this scholarship. And also you are interested in the social, political and economic development of your home country. So right now let's take a look at the eligible countries and the courses that are eligible so right here you can see the countries that are eligible i'm also going to um, leave a link where you can get to this page i'm going to show you at the end of this video 
so most countries are eligible you can see right here um, most africa countries are eligible and also you can see the courses that are eligible for the Helmut smith um, scholarship right here um, masters of analysis and design of social protection systems uh, masters of development and governance and here you can see the universities a master of public policy peace and conflict studies msc a masters of management in non-profit organization masters of governance and public policy development studies and masters of public management so these are the courses that are eligible we are going to come back to this page to see how we can apply and i'm going to drop all the links in the description but make sure to watch this video to see how to apply so that um, you can go ahead and apply to this course from june 1st till june uh, july 31st so back to our presentation um, let's take a look at the needed document so um, first of all you need a checklist form there's a form which i'm going to show you how to get this form at the end of this um, presentation um, so you need the checklist form you need to sign it and also um, state the place and dates on the form so this is just a checklist to show that you have acquired all the needed documents and then you also need the dad application form um i have made a video on how to fill the dad application form you can check it after this video and there's also going to be a link at the top of this um, video so um you can you also need a single letter of motivation you need um, a euro pass format of cv you need your degree certificate which has to be certified i've also talked about certifying your document you simply have to take it to a court and then get it stamped you also need a certified um, transcript uh, you need a written confirmation of work experience this can be from your internship it can be from um, your professional experience or your volunteer experience and you also need at least one reference from your work uh, place or from a university lecturer and this last two documents the work experience confirmation and the reference have to be on a letter headed paper it has to be signed dated and stamped finally let's take a look at how to apply it is very simple it is a one way you do not have to submit your documents to Hermon smith or dad all you need to do is to prepare all your documents and then you submit all the documents to the university and that is all basically so right now let's take a look at one example let's see um, how to get started i'm going to drop the link in the description i'm also going to put it in the uh, i'm also going to pin it on the comment section so that you can access it easily the first thing you want to do is to click on the link in the description or on the comment section it will take you right to this page at opnestnigeria.com this is the website for scholarships and other opportunities so once you are here you're just going to see more and uh, read more about the hermos means scholarship right on this page and when you are done reading you just go down right here you are going to see official website um, so this is the link to the official website all you need to do is to click on the link and it takes you to the official page so once you are on the official page um, you can basically find all you need right here you can see um, the list at the bottom here um, you can get the checklist right here once you click on this it's going to take you to the checklist so this checklist basically sh um, should you can basically tick each document that you have provided in the right way so if you have um, provided these documents then you can tick this uh, right hand part so once you are done you simply come down here and you put your date and location and then your signature right here so the next one we want to look at is the data application form so it is also right here you can just basically click on it and download the form and basically fill it online they prefer you fill it online with that uh, right on your computer so that you can type in not with your hand so you can also check the uh, video on filling the data application form it is definitely going to be of help and then you can also see the list of eligible countries right here so you can check it out by yourself and make sure your country is part of it and um, you can also look at the frequently asked questions and get answers to some questions that you might need and then finally you want to come to information about the master courses so right here you're going to click on the information about the master courses it takes you to this page 
right on this page if you go down you are going to find all the eligible courses it is quite simple submitting your documents to these courses is basically um, very easy you can most of them would allow you to send their documents um, send your documents via email for example uh, masters in public management allows you to send your documents to their email so once you click on it it takes you to um, the part of this page where you can find their contact details if you have any questions you can also contact them but for this video i'm not going to use that as an example i'm going to use um, this right here a uh, master of analysis so i'm going to click on it so it takes me down on the same page and right on this page if i go a little bit down i'm going to find the contact details at the right hand side right here so you can send an email to them they have like two email addresses there you can send an email if you do not understand how to submit your application but what i advise you to do first is to visit their website right here so you are going to get the information you need only when you do not get the information or it is not clear before you can email them maybe you want to know if you can apply without iits or tofu then you can also contact them so i'm going to click on the website right here it takes me to their website right on this page you can basically find out more information the application process you can read through and if you go down right here you can see um, this is the data application available for um, winter semester 2023-2024 the application portal will be opened from 1st of june to 31st of july yeah so it's quite simple you can simply go to the place uh, click on the link on that year um, and it's going to take you to the uh, next page where you can read more and then you can see um, apply now so i'm going to click on apply now and let's see it takes me to the portal so right on this portal you can see the portal is in german i'm just going to change it to english by clicking on english here right here but you can see that you cannot register right now because the application period have not started so um if the application period have started there's going to be um it's a button for me to register as a new um student then i can continue to fill in and submit all the necessary documents so this university basically collects the application via the application portal so most of them use either email or application portal to collect your document so guys that is it for this video on hemo smith i hope you liked it give the video a thumbs up if you got any information and also do not forget to um, comment where you're watching from share this video to your friends and you might want to watch this next video on how to fill the data application form or you want to watch this other video on how to search for scholarships in germany